For three weeks now, we have been working night and day on our 1920s home remodel. And while we've made some amazing progress, there's so much still to do. And while remodeling a home is a great majority of physical labor, there is still so much happening behind the scenes that y'all have yet to see. So today, I'll be taking y'all through my design plans for our house made home project. Hello you guys and good morning and welcome back. As you can tell by the title of today's video, we're gonna be diving into the design plans um, that I have for our 1920s home remodel. We're gonna be talking about the existing and the new layout that I have designed for our home. We'll be talking about the timeline that is exceptionally crucial for these next four months. And then also the inspiration that I have for this home and what I would love for it to become. I'm really calling this series, this renovation period, really this home in general, our house made home project. And the reason for that is just because I do not believe a house is made a home until you bring in the things that you love, the things that make you happy, whether it's you individually, you and your family, it, it doesn't seem to be a home until you guys are in it, putting your touches, putting your flair, um, those signatures of things that make you, you. Uh, so I'm really excited to be sharing with y'all kind of the behind the scenes of what I have planned for this home. And let's go ahead and get started. If y'all haven't seen the last video I posted and you want to see more visual pictures of what the home had looked like in its current state, make sure to go check that out because I walked y'all through room by room of the layout of the home in its current condition. This is going to give y'all more of a bird's eye view uh, looking down on the home and it gives you also a little bit of a visual look at some of the rooms in the home and what we're going to be changing. So first things first, this home was built in 1927. It is 1500 square feet and we are classifying this home as a two bed, two bath home. So in order to save on budget, I really wanted to keep as much of the existing layout as I possibly could. And for the most part, we did exactly that. One of the first things, and this is completely a design element, it's gonna make everything seem more symmetrical, is between the sitting room and the dining room, we have these two beautiful antique French doors and these doors are off centered. So every time you would open one of the doors, it would hit a wall. Not only that, but because it wasn't centered, the symmetry was completely off and it drove me crazy. My poor Cameron and his dad, I am literally making them move it over a foot, uh, which isn't that significant, but it does make a huge impact. Definitely not one of the most major projects in this whole renovation. Still something that we need to do before we move in. I would say the second major thing in this whole renovation is the laundry room addition. So if y'all saw the last video I did, I did mention that we have this little out door shed in the backyard that was being used as the current laundry room. Now, what was once the closet is gonna become the new laundry room. And it's the perfect size for it. That room is a 10 by seven and will not only serve a purpose as a laundry room, it's also gonna be somewhat of a utility room storage, but also the new main entry point for the master bed. Last but not least, there is two openings in the kitchen right now. One of those openings is the current entry point to the master bedroom, um, but it takes up so much of the kitchen's uh, storage and wall space. Closing up that wall will allow me to relocate both the stove and the fridge. And that empty hallway is not serving any kind of purpose right now. It will now become our new closet since our existing closet is becoming the laundry room addition. Most of the other stuff, there are some demo pieces that are happening in the rest of the home, but those are the four major things um, that will be happening within this four month renovation. So I really wanna talk about the timeline that I have planned for these next four months and why it's four months. Cameron and I just bought the home on June 8th of this year. Our lease here at the apartment, which is where I am now, isn't up until October. It was the perfect uh, kind of situation where we had a period of time for us to do all this messy demolition and things. Still four months to do this kind of remodel. 
is still a short period of time. So we are really using every minute that we can to make sure that we stay on track. Months one and two, I kind of put together because those are very time consuming things that we are doing within this period. Um, a lot of the demolition is happening in almost every single room, something is coming down or being exposed. Month three, we will be working on some of the major design elements for the home. Like I talked about in the new layout, we will be centering those double doors from the sitting room to the dining room. The new door opening that will be happening from the dining room to the new laundry room addition, along with the laundry room addition itself. We have to close the wall in the kitchen in order for us to relocate both the gas line and the fridge lines, and also doing any patchwork um, in the house that needs it on the walls or on the floors. All of these months are completely major things that are happening within that. But month four, is really the get ready to move in kind of stage. One of those things is that I would love to paint the interior of the home. Not only that, but we also have to restore our hardwood floors. Almost every single room in this house has the original hardwood floors, and many of them are in very good condition that just need a little bit of patchwork, but the stain on them, some are darker than the others, and I really want it to be a unison, cohesive look. So we will have to be sanding and staining and sealing these floors. Another thing I wanna happen in month four, and this is something that will have been kind of worked on throughout the four months here and there is redoing completely the guest bathroom really would like for us to have a um, brand new kind of clean functional bathroom for us to use since Cameron and I aren't gonna be remodeling our master bathroom right now even though it is a small space is something that we are doing ourselves I cannot sit here and say that the kitchen will be completely done when we move in. I have a feeling it won't be anywhere close to done, but as long as it's functional enough for us to maybe cook a meal or two in there, then it should work just fine for us. But once we're moved in, if that kitchen has not been completed, that will be the first thing that we continue to focus on once we're inside the house. So that sounds like a lot of stuff. And it definitely is. And you know, I have given us some grace and some leniency in terms of knowing that we are only three people. You know, I try to be very realistic in the sense of home renovation normally doesn't ever go as somebody plans, especially in an old home. There's always something that you thought was gonna be easy that ends up not being easy at all. But having a specific timeline with um, bullet points of all the things that we need to do before we move in, that's really gonna keep us focused and on schedule, on track in terms of trying to get everything done within this four month period. Last but certainly not least, I would love to go over the inspiration that I have for this home. Now, I am not an interior designer. I am not anything like that, but I do love having this kind of old home where it's strictly ours, where I can do anything to it. It's really allowed me to get creative and just have that freedom that I've never had before living in apartments. I'm sure many of you can attest to that. So it's definitely something that I'm having a lot of fun with but I do know um, a little bit of what I want this home to look like in the future. One of the main things that I of course wanted to do was bring the home back to its original glory. Being that this home was built in 1927, it's almost 100 years old, and it has so much character that has been just covered up over the years. I think nowadays, you know, people are really embracing the old, and there's nothing wrong with that. I think it's beautiful. I think, you know, whether you paint something that's been there for 100 years, it is still 100 years old. It's just gotten a little bit of a facelift. So when I was kind of designing, as I'm looking through Pinterest for inspiration and stuff, I do want to try to kind of stay true to the era and the style of the home that is already there. If y'all saw the home tour, you probably noticed that this home is already very um, Victorian style. Love those rustic notes that Victorian style homes normally have. The hardwood floors, the tall ceilings, the beautiful antique windows that we have all around the house. All of those things are things that I love. I just like to add a little bit more of a neutral palette with those rustic notes. Salvaging any kind of pieces that we can reuse in different ways is something that I'm very big about and I'm very adamant about doing. I love a good antique. I love the story, the personality, the character behind all those pieces. And that's something that I will be incorporating a lot into this home. This isn't a modern new built house. This is a hundred year old home.
home so I don't want to bring a bunch of new things in now I wouldn't say that I have a specific style I do like um, so many different things. I love moody and rustic. I love kind of farmhouse light and area neutral. Um, it's kind of a balance for me between those things. All that stuff kind of plays together in terms of like a cottage farmhouse group. Um, but I do want to add my own personal flair. So what I know I like is um, normally a neutral palette in terms of like the base. And then I love to bring kind of colors and things through decor pieces, design elements, and then I can change it based on the holiday or the season. But the purpose of each room will really have a lot to do with how I style it. Let's talk about the living room first off, or the entryway. There's not really any kind of division that separates the entryway from the living room. The room itself is sectioned off from the rest of the house. Now the living room will be our main living area. It's gonna be the room that has the TV, the big couch. One thing I love about the living room is it has a beautiful window just anytime we want to have a movie night or things like that so I really want it to be an inviting space the dining and the kitchen are spaces that I'm still kind of working on and I'm not sure if it will be a um, very open concept space or do I want them a little bit more uh, closed off and having their own kind of identity but I do know you know color palette I would really love the kitchen to be neutral in a sense but to have some fun colors on the island that I plan to put in or the backsplash there's so much that you can do to a kitchen to make it really special and beautiful the dining room will be very simple um, it does have another bay window in there that I would love to also kind of do the same thing that I want to do in the living room which is add a um, you know a bench seat one thing that we're really lacking in a home this small is storage so maybe incorporating some kind of storage unit within that space would be awesome the sitting and the guest room is a room I am very very excited with it is the one room that has some very very special trim in it that I love that room will serve as a sitting room slash a guest room but also a space that is completely distraction free from electronics and TVs and things when we have guests or friends over, you know, I imagine that's a that will be a space where we spend a lot of time together. Now the laundry room, um, you know, nobody gets really too excited about a laundry room, but I have seen so many beautiful pictures on Pinterest and things of just gorgeous laundry rooms. And while our laundry room isn't anything crazy, it definitely won't be, there are some beautiful elements that I have planned for maybe the flooring or some kind of storage solutions. I do think that it comes down to the details. You may not have a huge space, you might not have anything fancy, but you can add so many different details to a room to make it even more special. Last but not least is the guest bath. This is something that I am continuing to always think about just because it's something that I want to get done before we move in. I feel like because it's a smaller room, uh, we can really do something dramatic and bold in there and make it beautiful and really give it its own statement right when you walk in you're just like wow this bathroom is small but it's so beautiful and it's functional and it works for me is one of the biggest things is making sure that each room has kind of its own identity but it's not all the same I heard somebody say um, they're not twins they're sisters so you know they're not exactly alike you can tell they're still part of the family that's what I really want for this home is for everything to have um, its own special flair but when you look at the big picture it's still a very cohesive home style probably stress some of y'all out just like i've stressed myself out in this whole uh, renovation process the i mean these next four months are going to be crazy but this will be, definitely be a time where we are working super super hard um, to get everything done and then once we're in the home things can kind of go a little bit slower I'm somebody who likes to you know, just take my time. I don't want to make any mistakes I don't want to rush into something, you know being this is our first home It's really special to me to make it beautiful and to make it ours and kind of our identity And it's not just me living in the home, you know, it's my it's my daughter. It's my husband I really want to make sure that all of us are just as happy as the others to live in that home and to be so thankful and grateful and just to really enjoy all of the hard work that we're going to be putting in these next four months and see it in the end game. So I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video. When I see you guys in a couple weeks, I'm going to be really um, showing y'all what we have done. Um, so when y'all see that video, it will be five weeks into the renovation. So y'all will be seeing 
what we have accomplished within those five weeks is the demolition period so it's almost like taking three steps back rather than forward but you have to take these steps um, back in order to move forward in the renovation process so once again really hope that y'all enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it comment down below of um, if you're excited if you're excited about certain rooms um, I'm really excited to be sharing this whole process with y'all and I really hope that y'all are looking forward to it as well so make sure to hit that subscribe button so you're aware of when I'm posting my future videos and I will see you guys in a couple weeks. Bye guys!